Hey everybody and welcome to what I presume is going to be the final episode of Afterbirth. Afterbirth Plus comes out tomorrow, it's very exciting. Um, it's weird timing because normally Afterbirth episodes come out at 6am. Afterbirth Plus will probably, if it adheres to other Steam releases in the convention they're in, uh, will come out at like 10am. So there'll be a little dearth of Isaac tomorrow, but I'm planning on filling that gap, getting a video up. Basically with my first run as soon as the game comes out, hopefully doing a stream right after that. That was just my keyboard, not anything, you know, more scary than that. So, I asked people, who do you want to see the final run with here? And honestly, there were really only three answers. Keeper, Lost, and Isaac. And I'm going to do Isaac. And it's because I'm a sucker for ceremony, I have to admit. Sure, the Keeper would be the most difficult. And the Lost is fun. Also difficult, it would be a challenge. But Isaac, you get the zaniness, you get the re-rolls, you know, you get a good bit of comfort. I would love to end on a win as well. There's our seat, by the way. 6 NKB, BW70. So I'm going to... Let me put it this way. In the final run here, my aim is not to be, hey, check it out, I'm the world's greatest Isaac player. Look at the amazing stuff that I can get done with. You know, let's save that for people who are actually good at this game. Um, my goal is rather to be... Um, you know, sending this, the series off with ceremony. It's the third time we've done this <laughs> in Isaac, hilariously enough. Uh, and there's a little bit of pressure because you're like, you definitely don't want to just throw. But uh, as long as we can hold it together here. And I think, honestly, with the pressure off, I think we'll have a good time. What do we do with the D100? I think we'll use it once. It's not going to do anything for us, really, to use it once right now, but we'll use it once, maybe, like, after we pick up the boss item. I think we came to a good, uh... First off, thanks to the game for giving me a tough decision this early, but... Um, I think we came to a good, you know, equilibrium when it comes to the D100 and the D4 and etc, etc, over the course of the, uh... The Afterbirth series. Once per run, more if you absolutely need it because you re-rolled into garbage. But we did re-roll our last run, and it pretty much lost it for us, although it wasn't that great to begin with, but... Um, I was bummed out. How do I feel about Afterbirth Plus coming out? Afterbirth, you know, leaving us? I'm not that sentimental right now, honestly, even though I originally said that uh, at the start of the episode. It's just just another Isaac. You know, it's just the, the shifting of the sands. I don't think we can get both of these, like, sweet things blown up here, but let's hope for the best. I would love a key here, honestly, but sure, I'll take a battery, or a, a spirit heart as well. Um, it's always nice to know that there's more Isaac content coming out, coming out tomorrow, as the case may be. Um, what's nice is, and what makes this maybe a little bit more, shall we say, it's got more gravitas than the average, you know, Isaac release, is that this is probably going to be the last one, at least for the Rebirth shell. And it's been a good two and a half, I guess just slightly over two years for, for Rebirth. It's going to be nice to give it a send-off with Afterbirth Plus. I hope it holds it down. I, wonder, I should go back and watch what I was saying in episodes before uh, Afterbirth came out. Like, man, I'm so excited to play as a new character. Now I'm like, oh, Lilith, the worst random. I'd rather have the loss than, than Lilith. That's not technically 100% true, but you get the idea. But no, I'm, I'm pleased with Afterbirth. I'm used to Afterbirth. Oh, you're going to make me pick this up and then re-roll it, you dirty dogs. Um... I play, I'm pleased with Afterbirth, I'm comfortable with Afterbirth, I'm loving Anti-Birth as well, but I'm excited to get, you know, some official DLC and maybe play some, you know, mods as well. Maybe make some mods as well, who knows. Okay, so we re-rolled into 8-inch nails. I'm happy with that. We'll come back, grab the D6, re-roll Forever Alone. Also gives us fodder for a transformation, excited about that. I want to do everything on this run. I want to do, oh my god, our rate of fire is awesome as well. I want to do uh, boss rush. I want to do the hush fight. I want to do Mega Satan if possible. Uh, I think we should try. I think we should try to do Mega Satan. And I think it should be fairly conceivable. Um, as long as we just don't take that first deal with the devil. Although it will minimize our ability to get a guppy transformation. Who cares, you know? It doesn't matter that much. Uh... At least we can get an arcade out of this, and we got two spirit hearts anyway. Okay. Time well spent. I'm not expecting to play perfectly. I'm just expecting to play nicely, if that makes any sense at all. Hope you guys are excited for Afterbirth Plus as well. It's weird, like, 
Uh, I mean this without throwing any disrespect at the anti-birth developers, and I mean that sincerely. Uh, I don't think we want anything in there. Um, anti-birth is so good that I think it sucked a little bit of the wind out of sails for Afterbirth Plus. Correct me if I'm wrong. But it seems like people are like, you know, I'm, I'm surprised the number of people that are like, are you going to be, we have to take this for the Beelzebub chance, but... Are you going to be doing, you know, two videos a day of Anti-Birth after Afterbirth Plus comes out? Well, the answer is we'll wait and see. We don't know how Afterbirth Plus is going to be yet. If Afterbirth Plus turns out to just be, you know, like, you know, ten new items and a new character that we can knock out in no time, maybe we'll go for that balance. Maybe it's going to be enormous, and then we'll go for a different balance. But all I know for now is uh, I'm going to play as much of it as feels right. I don't have a set plan. All I have is... Uh, an inkling. I mean, this isn't my first rodeo when it comes to new Isaac content. And it's probably, like, Isaac is the game that in YouTube terms put me on the map, so I want to give it uh, a proper send-off. At least, uh, it's like, it's like Isaac's last birthday party or something like that. There's probably always going to be times where it just drops by and goes, hey, Isaac, or it goes, hey, Northern Lion, remember me? And I go, yeah, I've been playing you, you know, once a day. I get, I'm sending the wrong message here. I'm going to continue to play Isaac daily in the foreseeable future, but, um... I'm just getting, it's, it's still a special moment, I suppose. See, I said I wasn't sentimental, and now I'm getting sentimental. You turn me into an old softy here. But I'm excited to see uh, what Afterbirth Plus holds. And I'm excited to get into the modding as well, and hopefully, uh, you know, my intermediate level of object-oriented programming ex experience uh, means that I can pick up Lua relatively quick and do the seriously very, very modest quality of life improvements like making Necronomicon a three charge item. I mean, come on, Tyrone. Does it really need to be a six charge item? Just adding insult to injury here. Also, every item should contribute to a transformation. In my opinion. Every single fucking item in the game. You pick up uh, breakfast. That's part of the meal transformation. What does the meal transformation give you? Uh, it gives you a hunger meter, and if your hunger meter gets full, you gain an HP upgrade. How does your hunger meter get full? The more meals you eat, the, the hungrier you get? Okay, we gotta go back to the design board for this, but, you know, in theory, the idea stands. I hope. Happy New Year as well! Like, what a... What a coincidence. New Year, new game, new me? Not really new me. Still, same old me. Same old G. Um... We should take everything here? I know I said I was gonna try to fight Mega Satan. I still would like to. But this deal with the devil is too good to pass up. It's full-on glass cannon builds. Take that, rewind it back, or sure got the shit to make your booty go smack. Um, it's very icy in Vancouver right now, and my power keeps flickering. Hopefully that doesn't put a damper on the final episode here. Incubus, that's a good item. Book of Belial, that's a good item. Not good enough to give rid of the D6, but a good item nonetheless. Um, we'll stick with Alges. I really, really want to do Boss Rush. I know it's good. Why do you even want to do Boss Rush? You don't need to do Boss Rush. It's it's the final run, dog. We gotta like be in keeping with tradition here to some extent, you know? On your final day of high school, you gotta say, you know, goodbye to everybody. You gotta say goodbye and good luck to everybody. You see, even that bitch who spread the rumor about you, said you were taking a poop in the urinal. I don't never take a poop in a urinal. Why would I take a poop in a urinal? That's what the toilet's for. Not only is it, you know, unergonomic, but there's no privacy. It doesn't even make sense why someone would take a poop in a urinal. Much less me. I think you put the poop in the urinal and tried to pin it on somebody. This isn't based on a true story. I made it up in my head, but I've already concocted a series of shifting allegiances and, you know, backstories and lore and, you know, and there's an ARG involved in this as well. Hello, Tomo. Would you like to exit the room? Wouldn't be an Isaac episode if Tomo didn't want to escape. So there you go, buddy. Goodbye. How about you, Ruka? Looking like he's loving life in his box. We're gonna pop Alges. And the idea is that we're gonna use... Algis to hopefully uh, just get blood bag, but if not, we're gonna be leaving. But I think our damage stat is high enough that boss rush is still like... I mean, it's early on on the run, to be sure. But our damage stat is high enough that boss rush is like, not even close to being out of reach. Even though we're maybe like two minutes shy right now. Please. I'm begging you. This Algis rune does not end. The money is out of control, but there, there we go. At least we got a bunch of money out of it. That's the... 
the best takeaway we could possibly get there. Um, we'll check out our shop one last time because an extra spirit heart could change everything. And we should take battery, baby, I suppose. Just move on with our lives here. This is a really, really great situation. Minus the amount of time that we spent here. Also, mind if I roll need? Oh, sorry, that was half-assed. Mind if I roll need? That's a little better. Where did I lost my mind if I roll need? I thought it, it used to be pretty good, but now it's gone. Mind if I roll need? It's gone! I've, in true Northern Lion fashion, though, that the losing of one impression means that somehow, some way, I keep coming up with funky ass shit like every single day, but somehow I've come up with another impression that I'm just unaware of. You know, as one, every new beginning comes from some other beginning's end, you know? I know who I want to hoard my loot. I know who I want to hoard my loot. Do you mind if I am rolling need, rolling need? Okay, you get the idea. Look at that genius plays. Genius plays. Little light on HP. Not gonna. Try to pull the smoke over your eyes in that one. I'm not gonna blow smoke up your asshole on that one. And that was actually an expression, I just made it vulgar. I tried to mix two expressions, instead I just created one that was quite gauche. Um, all right, let's start knocking out these rooms that are irrelevant. And by knocking out, I mean never going to them again. We're looking for pretty much nothing. If we could get Dad's key, I would give up uh, the D6. Even though the D6 is a principal, you know, selling point of being Isaac, we've gotten the value out of it. We got the value out of the D100 even. And we're, we're, oh god, be careful. That was really terrible. We're doing enough damage that we, uh, well, we can afford to be a little bit more laissez-faire with our pickups, if that makes sense. Like, we can, we can make some pickups that are based on entertainment value. Still not worried about our HP. Telepathy for dummies is bad. Right now, at least, but we'll re-roll it. You get Bomber Boy. I've got to admit that this gives me a great deal of pause because, you know, Curse of the Blind scatter bombs is all it takes for me to be in a pretty tough spot. But I think that uh, it's worth it. And as long as we can gain like one Spirit Heart per floor from the shop, I'm feeling pretty good about things, uh, and and we are able to do so here as well. Uh, we'll buy a key, and by key, I mean the key to re-rolling, which is a battery charge in this case, and all cases. But this does give me uh, the ability to re-roll a deal with the devil if we're able to get one. Fish head. Yeah, be careful with that. We will definitely take that. Fish head versus uh, occasional spectral tears that are also piercing. It's a tough call. Dude, I have to be honest with you, I'm still not 100% confident that it's the right decision to take Odd Mushroom always. This time, it was the right decision, though. It's an extremely disproportionate DPS upgrade versus what I was expecting. Not saying we're in best run ever territory, but like, I love having a super fast rate of fire. And that was excellent. Okay, obviously this is like reroll priority number one. Uh, but we don't need to. Lump of Coal is going to be fine here. And Pacifier. One Spirit Heart, but a lowered tier delay. And a reroll ready to use on. I guess we could have gone back and used it on the shop. But I'm being serious with you. Boss Rush and Hush. we got to be fairly quick to get there. Perks is conceivable to use on the uh, on Boss Rush. I don't really want to teleport out of Boss Rush. I want to... I want to do boss rush. Can't get over there. I thought, you know, there's probably a way that we could have placed it to make that happen. Flatworm. Sure. I think having larger tiers could be advantageous. Bad damage. I think as long as we have confidence here, in the words of the late George Michael, we've got to have faith, you know? In the words of the late George Michael, I guess it would be nice if you could... Touch my body. I know that every, not everybody has a body like me. Is that how that goes? I'm, they don't sing the Limp Bizkit version by accident, even though it's exactly the same song. I'm not, uh, you know, speaking ill of the dead at all. I don't have uh, a history of George Michael reverence, but it is, a, you know, it's a sad story. Without a doubt. 
I was always, uh, not always, but you know, as, as 2016 has come to an end here, still weird to me that we are in 2017, but it's, it's always weird. You just get over the weirdness, I guess, that you're like, yeah, you know, in like two weeks, you're going to be like, what are you talking about? It's weird. That's just life. But for one day, you get a little bit of a weirdness, you know, rain check or something. You put the weirdness on layaway. Um, and people would be like, man, 2016 is like, a lot of celebrities have died. Someone would be like, well, it's not 2016's fault. Have we hit that? Someone's expressing like sadness, trying to start a conversation, and you're giving them the, well, actually, it's not the year's fault. You know, the calendar did nothing. They're just trying to have a human conversation with you, dude. I understand that in your worldview, this person is wrong. They're saying, you know, oh, this year was bad for celebrity deaths. And you're like, well, actually, there's an explosion of, you know, celebrities in the 1960s, which has created a situation in which there's more celebrities to die. So more of them are going to die on an annual basis. But still, they're just, they're just, they're sad. Fuck it, let's do it. I know I said accidentally we could have this happen. Let's do it for real, motherfuckers. But what is the, the gist of that conversation, you know? Human conversation is not just... You know, I want to accomplish task, here's how I communicate. That's a robotic way of thinking, you know. People communicate for lots of reasons. Empathy uh, is, is a big one, you know. There is task-oriented communication without a doubt. You know, this person's just trying to relate and maybe soothe their emotions a little bit. And the, well, it's not 2016's fault necessarily is not, it's not helpful. Rest assured, we all think you're very smart for your reasoning here, but still... Absolutely. How could I not? And let's take a free item out. Oh, that's just silly. Um, we're, we're getting ahead of ourselves here. We now have extremely big bombs that explode uh, with an extremely deceptively large uh, radius of explosion-ness. And then when they explode, they have uh, big bombs that spawn out, spawn out of them and then do exactly the same thing. Not into perpetuity, but for one cycle, so... Um, what am I getting at? I think placing bombs is a ton of damage, but also extremely dangerous. Like, let's try one in a safe environment here. As long as we get out of the way, that's probably pretty good. And honestly, one of those bombs, that's the thing with these bomb synergies. Like, it's bad for you if you get caught in them, especially if you get caught over and over, as I have a tendency to do. Um, nice, a spirit heart. But if you're able to use them uh, against... Oh, another spirit heart? If you're able to use them against enemies effectively... The world's your oyster, dude. Because they can do a ridiculous amount of damage. The spirit hearts that we gained there are kind of ridiculous. Enough that I could even play that guy. Maybe we shouldn't. We got 10 extra bombs, okay. We got... Uh, we got uh, spirit heart for 3 cents as well. Because we do have a steam sale... Is everything just half price out of coincidence? It's probably the Steam sale, huh? Ooh, well, I guess it would be nice if all goods were 50% lesser they used to cost, I guess. I must have Steam sale. There should be like an inverted item in Afterbirth Plus that riffs on DLC. I mean, there is pay to play, which has kind of like a DLC themed joke inherent in it, but what if, uh,. You know, the Steam sale is like, everything's half off. What if you made one that was like, you know, DLC. All shops contain more items to buy. That could be cool. Just throwing it in there, just feel free to use that idea. As long as you pay me 100% uh, of the royalties ever earned from it. And you must monetize it or you're not protecting my trademark. Then uh, we're good to go. Guppy, guppy. Alright, we got two guppy items there that are disguised as non-guppy items. I don't know why they're being so... What's the word I'm looking for? Coquettish. I don't know why they're being so coquettish. That's our word of the day. Sometimes people communicate just to prove that they know a word like coquettish. Which I believe means demure. <laughs> which I believe means demure. Uh, Jean-Claude Demir, of course, is the most coquettish of all Belgian action stars that played Guile in, uh, the Street Fighter series of films. Of which there was one. Uh, except for that one with, uh, Christian, or Kristen Crook that came out in, like, 2010. The, the Ballad of Chun-Li or something. Old bandage. 
There goes old bandage again, occasionally dropping red hearts when you do not wish to obtain them. Alright, Dank Depths 2. We are pretty much ready to go for boss rush here. I would love just some insurance, like if I could get uh, the relic. Then I have no reason not to go to boss rush. Because it, it will not kill me, or at least should not kill me. You would like to return to the room, Tomo. What a surprise. Welcome. Welcome to Papa's house. So we got uh, Guppy's head. We're not Guppy yet, which is remarkable to me. We don't want Super Bandage. I don't want the Chariot card either, but it's not that bad. We'll buy Distant Admiration. We got Beelzebub out of that. We also got Guardian Angel. An item that very rarely shows up. Beelzebub is good. Probably the second best transformation, right? And then, like, in, on terms of merit, I know everyone loves the super bum cutscene. Coincidentally, my favorite song by Muse. But, uh, I think on merit alone, you gotta like Beelzebub. It's, it's just flying. Like, flying is so strong. The flies are just a bonus. Okay, so we are, like, in the market to maybe skip this item room. But I think we can fight uh, the boss rush and still go fast enough to fight Hush. So that only leaves Mega Satan on the checklist. And at this point, I'm, I'm asking like for the world. Because we're going to require a dad's key drop, which seems unlikely. Yeah, okay. That surprisingly worked. Pentagram's awesome. Um, but if we can get that dad's key drop, I would be so happy. It would, it would make a young boy's dream come true. Not mine. I'm a young man. At least that's what my mom says. And how the government sees me. For tax purposes. Uh, and census purposes. Now that I think about it. That's right, we still got a census. You got a problem? Take it up with JT. I think we'll pay for the map and then go see what we've got on Boss Rush. We got the Guppy Dream. We got Sad Bombs! You take Sad Bombs over the Guppy Dream. It's a sacrifice. We have Guppy so frequently. We have Sad Bombs fairly frequently, but not as frequently. So now I actually wish I'd taken Bob's Brain because it would be awesome here, but um, as you can see, our combination of items here is getting pretty ridiculous. I am willing to just say right now, this is a fitting send-off to Afterbirth. I mean, keep in mind, most of the items in Afterbirth we're still going to see. Probably all the items in Afterbirth we're still going to see all the time. But I, I'm feeling like it's acceptable to say that this is a fitting send-off at this point. We got a, an awesome Sad Bomb synergy. That's been a pretty like consistent theme in Afterbirth runs. And one of my favorite ways to dominate, actually, is to just get ridiculously powerful sad bombs. And these are ridiculously powerful sad bombs. We're not even seeing, like, the true power of the sad bombs. That was very dumb of me. Um, because the room is too big. If the room was smaller or the range on sad bombs was larger, you'd be seeing, like, a, a more potent display here. But even still, it's extremely impressive. Best Sad Bomb synergy ever? I don't know, dude. We've had some great ones. It's up there, though. We're using Sad Bombs consistently on, like, the least dangerous enemy, but... That's okay. We're totally gonna make the Hush fight. Or sometimes we just use Sad Bombs on no enemy at all! Feels like I'm hidden. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Maybe we, if we place it in the middle, you think it's worth it? Two enemies that spend all their time underground. Stop that. Get some help. Yeah, it's sort of working. Alright. I think that was our last wave, actually. Good prediction. Homing bombs? Don't mind if I do. 
Poison bombs? Starting to sort of mind if I do, but how can I not take all the bomb synergies available? I wouldn't be who I am if I t didn't take these bomb synergies, even at the risk of it, you know, being quite damaging to ourselves. So I'm not going to use bombs on every room. And we are kind of out of avenues to get more spirit hearts consistently. So we're going to be relying on, uh, you know, a little bit of luck. Because if we're going to fight Hush, we need a little bit of resiliency. Like, we're not going to be able to just... It, on our existing level of HP, could we beat Hush? Sure, I mean, I think it's plausible, but it's not... Uh, the way I would prefer to go about things. I wouldn't feel like I had the utmost confidence going down there. And to lose on the hush fight would be the ultimate fuck you. Because it would be like, you know, we didn't even want to fight this guy most of the time. And then he ends our freaking series. It's just an adding insult to injury at that point. I, I'm very surprised that, you know, we set out to accomplish some zany goals on this run. And so far, so good. There's another spirit heart for us. Every one of those obviously increases our chances by quite a lot. Gotta check this out. You know, it's a good item, but we already have Beelzebub. Why don't we reroll it? Oh, yeah, okay. Um, dare I? At this point, let's be reasonable. How could I not? I, th I bet you thought I was gonna say, let's be reasonable. I'm not gonna take that shitty item. Oh, no, no, no. You don't understand. This is the prom after party for Afterbirth. Anything goes within reason. So we're gonna... We're gonna get wild. Come on, feel the bombs. Yeah, girls, also feel the bombs. We're gonna get wild, yeah. In terms of, like, band names from the 1980s, a category I think about uh, with a daily frequency. Um, Quiet Riot is definitely one of one of the ones that I uh, relate to the most. Because you're like, hey, it's a riot. That's not nice. You're going to inconvenience a lot of people. And then you're like, oh, it's a quiet riot. And you're like, well, that's the ideal way. I still don't necessarily approve of the unrest. But sometimes it's got to happen to accomplish, you know, certain aims. So I guess in the end, if you're going to riot, try to do so quietly. And if your quiet riot falls on deaf ears. Or just ears that are not sensitive enough to pick up. Well, I would increase the volume of the riot until it is noticed by the parties for whom it is relevant pretty good no 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 uh, help me no problem pretty fly yeah pretty fly we did it we rerolled into guppy why go for that one, by the way? Because I don't want to pay Spirit Hearts and we got Chaos, so every deal's okay. Could we have taken, um... Trinity Shield? Absolutely. Could have taken Trinity Shield. I'm just feeling a little under the gun here. I think that might be a reasonable way to feel right now, given the circumstances. Plenty of time to make this, uh... Hush fight happen here. Am I gonna go fight Hush? Yes. I feel invincible right now. Nothing can stop me. Of course, that's just simply not true, but... I'm feeling very good. Not good enough to sing the titular song by Nina Simone, but but quite good, so... Try to avoid... I was just gonna... What was I saying? Try to avoid dumb preventable damage. Find Tinted Rocks. It is conceivable, I think, that the hush ends this uh, for me. Certainly hope it doesn't. Um, I should not have ever gone back into that room. Tinted Rock, very important. It is worth noting, you know, if we ever get hit, thank God for permanent Polaroid invincibility. We need to preserve that because if we ever lose it, it's going to be like, look at this. This is hell. I don't want to be a part of this. Hierophant, please. Empress, Devil, same shit. Functionally exactly the same in my mind. So I'm not even going to risk the red poop damage at this point. Okay, we're gonna we're really going to do Hush with 2.5 HP? Well, we'll see. 
I mean, we can't, so we'll re-roll them. Eh, it's a bomb synergy, but we can't because we'll, we won't come back to life. So, all right, this might be the dumbest decision we're going to make. And if the series ends here, I just want you to know good luck. We're all counting on you, and I'll see you tomorrow for Afterbirth Plus. But I gotta, I gotta try. I gotta try. You would take the rune bag here if you were me. D6 is too valuable to just give up for nothing. What's with the... Like, oh god, they saved me with a chaos card. After all that. Sure, I don't care. Give me friendly fly. Oh, they gave me the chance to get the butt bombs again. That's why I'm easy. I'm easy like a Tuesday morning. That's not feeling good. That's Sunday morning, but you get the idea. Um, so, I mean, we should throw... Oh, what have I done? There we go. I just want to see what a bomb does to Hush. I, it's quite good. But he's got to get chaos. Son. Beautiful. Alright, now we will probably win. And I there before the grace of the chaos card in the shop go I. Like, that's extremely good luck. And I'm very flattered that the game thinks highly enough of me to, to give me that. I didn't even use the Empress. Like an idiot. Well, it's, never mind. Not like an idiot. We did have the chaos card. Alright, now what do we look for? We can get a Yara rune. I don't, this doesn't feel like the right way. And the right way is important. Drop me a Yara rune. I'll find a way to get the necessary keys. Yeah, just like that, right there. Onsus. Okay, this is definitely the right way. We don't care about the curse room. Maybe we care about a second secret room. And a, a possible good tarot card. Yeah, that's that's a good one. Joker, huh? Ooh, I mean, it's tempting, but we lose Horror Babylon and Polaroid Invincibility. I don't want to use the Joker card until we've gotten our... Uh... Oh, we're rolling the dice, and the dice are rolling with us. Um, not that time, but that's still pretty good. I want to wait until we have a reroll ready, basically. We got a Spirit. Let's do it. Key. Blow this guy up. Magic Mush. We already have... No. That was a different run. I think. Spirit Hearts. More Spirit Hearts. The world's our oyster. Blank Rune. It has to be Yera. It, it only makes sense for it to be Yera right now. <gasps> I used it. But it wasn't Yera. Life goes on. I forgot that I wasn't holding the Joker card at that present moment. You really want me to take Cursed Eye, huh? You know what? I will take Contract from below. Why? Because I'm a crazy dude right now. And also, double chests on the chest. Let's do this. This re you gotta give a key to the key gods. It's just science. Never go there. Never go to that room. Okay, what do we do? Well, start by throwing down a bomb. And then you're done. Okay, that's one way to do it. I'm ready. I'm ready for victory. Dad's key. Gotta take the pact. Gotta go for spun. Reroll the other two. Who needs who needs a way to come back from the dead? Gotta go for spun. I don't care about the bomb bag. I mean, in some ways I do. But mostly I care about the bomb bag because it's easy to riff on. For example, I don't care about the bomb bag. I don't care about the bomb bag in spite of all my relentless bomb synergies. Who needs bomb bag? And then it's an easy sing-along, call and response sort of thing, you know? Who needs bomb bag? Mostly this is just me getting back at my neighbors for staying up until like 7 a.m. last night. Okay, well we can't open all these chests. That's like the, the only bummer I've seen on this run so far. That and the inability, ooh, to fight Mega Satan. But the Mega Satan dream still exists. Well, that's like extremely good. This ended up being an immensely enjoyable run one way or the other. Very strong. We played super risky, but we got the damage 
and just enough HP to find that to be completely acceptable. Fairly defensible. No keys back there, sadly. Some keys here. Come on. You know you want to give me that dad's key. Taking all the books out of the rotation. I didn't mean to use Anarchist Cookbook. This room is now... We, we can never speak of this room again. Glitter bombs. Glitter bombs. Humbling bundle. Um... I mean, Glitter Bombs, you know, another opportunity for a George Michael tribute, you know, Glitter Bombs. I said, bang, bang, Glitter, ba bang, oh, damn, finally we get a Yara rune. But it turned into two blank runes. Now it's Ansu's. Alright, let's just get out of here. The series has run its course. We've given it a fitting send-off. Let's defeat Blue Baby. This run was a lot of fun. I had a great time. Thank you for your immense support over the series. Northern Lion plays The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. I'll be back sometime tomorrow with The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. Look out for that. I'll probably be live on twitch.tv slash Northern Lion playing some Afterbirth. I'm excited to see you there. Thanks for the good times you, and thanks for the good times Afterbirth. I'll see you next time.